Hey guys, Resurfing here. Uh, this is the uh, 24th day for the winter mix. I'm sorry that this took so long, uh, but I decided I'm going to do a regular video after this. So this is going to be uh, my vlog video just to show off what I got for Christmas. And uh, number one thing I want to show off, a Wade Lord Minion 777 t-shirt. And to go with it, Sorry, uh, <laughs> um, gotta unfold this to show it off. A Markiplier shirt. Alright, uh, that was the main thing I wanted to show, was the two shirts. Uh... I got, well, I got something that comes in this bag. Hopefully that uh, sounded okay to you. I'm trying to find it, figure out how to play it. Um, it does come with a chart notebook. Uh, it's uh, taking me a bit to figure it out. I'm starting to, but this is something I definitely want to actually learn. So yes, this is the Ocarina of Time. Forgot to put every, some, all, all the parts on this. Uh, this is something that I've been playing around with for a while now, so, okay, there you go. That's where you go. Got the T-Rex Battlezord for the new movie. And, uh, I like this thing. I like this a lot, and I am sorry about that. This, this thing is huge. <laughs> Um, I know some of you were complaining about the hollowness. Uh, I'd rather it be hollow than have to pay what I paid for Metroplex. <laughs> because, uh, I mean, Grant, I didn't actually pay for this because it was a Christmas gift, but you get the idea. Um, so, I've heard that the other four Battle Zords are out, but I have not seen them yet. So yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to transform it right now. There will probably be a review on it later. Uh, I got uh, the Ninja Steel Megazord. And to go with it, I got... Uh, The five uh, Ninja Steel Rangers. Uh, right now I only have red and white opened. I'll probably be opening the others during this video. Uh, I really do like the uh, idea of putting the figures in here. And this time you actually can put the girls in here because of the slits in the skirt. That slits work really nicely. I'd still prefer cloth skirts, but uh, this works for now at least. <laughs> and cloth skirts, I'm assuming, are probably more expensive. Uh, let's see. Where are the others? Got him. All right, so we had the Blue Ranger. Yellow Ranger. 
pink ranger. And like I said, I'm going to open them up now. Ugh, I do not like the tape. And these things are massively taped. Okay, good. She was actually holding her sword, so I don't have to worry there. Due to the pose, my White Ranger has a bit of a thing with the left foot kind of twisted up. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to fix that. I don't know how. It doesn't bother me enough to really care. Uh, just something I happen to notice. <sighs> Come on, hold your sword, please. It's mostly a uh, coincidence of the design, but they, the females don't have the torpedo boobs either now, so they look a little bit better than they have. And uh, so yeah, there's the slit in the skirt. You get a good amount of movement there. They can sit in the Megazord, because I test that with white. Depending on how they adapt the series, pink should end up being our actual more tomboyish one this year. Obviously that does not have to be the case. Uh, personalities can completely change between the Japanese and the, and the US versions. We have the Yellow Ranger. Uh, by the way, the guys have ratchet joints in the shoulders here, which I've heard some people like, but personally, I'd rather have more freedom than the uh, ratchets allow. And the ratchets are going to wear off anyway, so there's really no point to it. These things really are just so taped together. Uh, there's not enough room to cut you, so I need to... Blue, please let go of your sword so I can actually take it out. They have the uh, twist ties in there that, that you really do need to cut to get out, but there's not that much uh, room, so I've been trying to get them to let go of their weapons before I get them to take them out. And we have the Blue Ranger. I really like these guys, by the way. Uh, a lot of times I don't really like the sh shape designs on the visors, but the Shorken ones look nice and they're nice and uniform.
and uh, I read somewhere that it's going to be a space themed series despite the ninjas. I'm wondering if they're going to try to uh, reference the alien rangers that way, since they obviously had a ninja basis. Alright, what else? Uh... Oh, yeah. King of Tokyo. Have not played it yet, but I'm looking forward to doing so. Uh, the Phantom Foxy. And Toy Bonnie McFarlane Builds. I'll be doing a review soon. Got the new Just Dance. The song I'm most looking forward to doing is Shakira's Hips Don't Lie. My sister and I together got the board game Lanterns. Got a new water clock because I destroyed mine by accident. These things are great, by the way. We get ornaments every year, too. I can't show them off because they're on the tree. Uh... I got a Thomas the Tank Engine holiday ornament and a Mario ornament, so that works out nicely for me. Uh, can't show you this whole thing because it's on the table at the moment, but I did get a Pikachu mug. Uh, the headset, of course, you already know about. Uh, I have a PS4 now. A uh, bunch of games for the PS4, actually. Uh, let's see. Uh, my PS4 came with Uncharted 4, so I got the Uncharted Collection, Little Big Planet, and, un and Until Dawn. And I got a code to have a year of PS Plus, which is nice, especially for a game like Little Big Planet. Animal Crossing card packs. Uh, these are the new uh, Welcome Amiibo ones. Second controller for the PS4. A new wall, which I desperately needed because uh, the one I have has gone destroyed. I haven't used this yet because I like it. <laughs> and I don't want to have any issues there. And then I got $50 gift cards for Toys R Us and uh, GameStop, which I have used. Oh yeah, forgot to show these off. Gengar slippers. These are really comfy too. I'm going to show off one of the things that I got at Toys R Us. The other I have on the windowsill. I don't really want to grab it right now, but you guys will see it soon. Uh, so the first thing is I got the uh, Movie Morpher. I currently have the pink coin in there. I heard people saying that there was no way to uh, actually lock the coin in. Mine does have that. I wonder if there's a variation on it. Uh, pink coin's not going to show too well on camera, though it does actually work surprisingly well. So, and I'm going to put in a different coin. 
red's probably the one that's going to work best for, on the camera. Black and blue are probably too dark for the camera. Make sure I have it on. Yeah, red should work. Okay. Alright, so first, we have the flashing here, and I'm really hoping my camera can see this. Oh, that actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. Okay. So yeah, they all have this shutter switch thing. It works really well. Uh, the thing takes two AAA batteries, I believe. Where did I put down the pink one? There it is. Since that worked out better than I expected, I'm going to try putting in the pink one. Make sure I have it facing the right way. Uh, and it does matter what way it's facing. You can tell by looking at the light which side it is. Usually doesn't quite work that way for pink. Alright, let's see how well this works. Yeah, the camera can't read pink. I, I had a feeling it wouldn't be able to. Probably can't read yellow then either. So yellow is probably the one that looks best in this overall. Yeah, yellow's too bright to show on the camera. It works holding it. It's it's just the camera. Is that the yes, that's the right way. Okay. And you are locked in? Okay, good. So let's try blue. Yeah, you can see the triceratops pretty easily. Then we have a uh, black, and this should be the right way, I believe. Yeah, that's definitely the right way. Well, you can kind of see black on there. It's actually the last flash that lets you see black. <laughs> so on the camera, red and blue work best. Overall, um, I'm going to say that pink and yellow are the work best, at least uh, for the ones I have. There's apparently some variations in them based off of other reviews I've seen. Oh, is that putting pink back in? Want well, to guess what my favorite color is? And there is an on-off switch, and it's an actual on-off switch, not just a try-me and on switch. The other thing I got from Toys R Us is uh, the Imaginex Gold R, finally, because I've been meaning to get that. Um, that was a case of, I just... It just scales really well with the Megazords. And there's really no other figure that does. <laughs> Though I think the uh, big gold R that's coming out in January should scale relatively well with uh, the two foot Megazord, but I'm not positive on that. Might be a bit smaller, but should be close enough that doesn't make too much of a difference, I believe. Then I got uh, the Wii U version of Imaginators from GameStop. Uh, the Crash Bandicoot uh, Nitro Cortez set. And the reason I got the Wii U version is because I refused to not continue with uh, Donkey Kong and Bowser. 
So uh, whenever there's eventually a Switch Skylanders, I'll be getting that when I eventually have a Switch. That's probably not for a while yet. I also picked up Digimon Cyber Sleuth, which I am really enjoying. So that's pretty much all of my uh, Christmas stuff. I'll be doing reviews on some other stuff later. Uh, basically already did a review on this because it's easy to show off. Um, but I'll probably show off too how well it uh, fits on a belt because it actually is really, really good. <laughs> So uh, yeah, that's all for uh, this video. I'll be recording a gameplay video in a bit. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye, guys.